Hey guys, I just want to start this video by saying if you didn't hear the news already, rest in peace to Rich Homie Quan. He had some very big hits, kind of changed rap back about 10 years ago. Lots of fun, easy to dance to, you know, lifestyle, some type of way. He was with Young Thug and stuff. You know, don't do drugs, kids, because these rappers take it too far all the time. You see, one day they're here making music, one day they're gone. You know, I don't know what he was going through, but rest up. Had a lot of fun listening to his music. Even today, road to work listening to some type of way. But anyway, I just found this this reel. There are all these videos getting recommended about him since I searched that up. And I'm like, dude, I keep seeing these reels about this or just about anything where they're so, like, the editing is and so fast and... And the subtitles and just so many things about these short videos, whether it be on YouTube or TikTok, whatever. It's like due to the AI making these with the with the voices. And here's an example, dude. This this is a pretty subtle one, if anything. But it's like they're maybe some of these people are trying to like uh, program us with the way they edit their videos. Look at this here. So we got an interview clip from from of Young Thug talking to to Big Boy. Let me just adjust my camera here. And uh, talking about Rich Homie Kwan, and and check this out. What, what's the relationship with? Uh, Pay attention with to these Kwan subtitles right here. No, we don't have no problem. Like, I don't think we can be like how we used to. There's subtitles, right? He already did. He already just did some bullshit. He already know my heart, so it's like going along with what he's saying. Okay, so you subtitles. Just, you, yeah, you do that. It's like no, yes. He, wow. he did. He did no. a show before. Yes. And, and, and what? I think a guy had touched his leg on the stage. Like a fan was like, yo. He was standing on the end of the stage and Subtitles? he was touching him, grabbing his shoes, and he was like, yo, I ain't with that gay shit, nigga, I ain't with that thug shit. And it's just like... What's it say now? Damn, you How many boy. darts do you rip a day on average? What the fuck is you doing? So it's just like, it's like that. And it I stays that way until the end of the video. Really get, he really be drunk, man. You see that? Get drunk. Damn. I forgive. I always forgive. I don't ever hold grudges on nobody. I forgive everyone. Word to forgiving everyone, but see, did you, you, you see that subtle, what, what's, what's the meaning of this? I thought this was, they're just doing subtitles for this Young Thug interview. Next thing I know, how many darts do you rip a day on average? Oh, you smoke cancer sticks? How many? They're just assuming we're ripping darts out here in Luan, which I do not recommend. Along with too many drugs. Too much tobacco, it'll take you out of the game, it ruins your lungs. Don't smoke cigarettes. Nicotine, you know, it can be very helpful, I've done it. But you don't need it. I don't need it, I don't do it anymore. My lungs feel great. But see, what's going on with this AI? What do you think is the meaning of this? Am I? Do you think they're trying to program you into cigarette culture? That's all I can glean from this. That's all I wanted to say. That was super weird. I wasn't ready. How many darts do you rip a day on average? Like, what does that have to do with this video? Anyway.